Welcome to another great episode of Outdoors in the Heartland. Only two and a half pounds probably. But... This week Bob and I are headed back to one of our favorite local fishing spots owned by the Emo family. That's a good one. He's got me all bowed up. Nothing at all wrong with that. Plus we've got a special treat. We're going to tag along with Scott Schultz as he pursues one of the African Plains most prized antelope species, the sable. At least we know where this animal is, at least we have to take our time and sneak in real quick. All that right here, outdoors in the heartland. Every chance I get, there's a place I go Where the bass are biting as the sun hangs low There's a feeling I get that I hope will never end On a deep clear lake or an Ozark stream I kick back, relax, and I start to dream About what Mother Nature has a waiting around the bend Hey, Larry and Bob will take me Your quality Ford dealers present Outdoors in the Heartland with Bob Richardson and Larry Woodward. Outdoors in the Heartland is brought to you by Ford and your quality Ford dealers. Strike King, number one in fishing lures. Triton Boats, we take America fishing. Yamaha, reliability starts here. Lawrence, we lead, we find, you win. Welcome Sin Blocker 2014. Your, your long journey has, has come to an end. Um, welcome to your African family. I know many of you, uh, it's your first time here. Um, a lot of you have been here before and you've come back again to drink water with us again. Well, and whatever we drink. <laughs> um, we've got a great trip planned for everybody. Uh, we're going from Linsfontein across to Hamakara on the, on the 15th of July. Most importantly, as, as always, it's safety. Everybody look after each other here. Your PHs are fantastic PHs, hand-picked guys, really salt of the earth gentlemen. And um, all I can say is, Scott, thank you so much for um, entrusting all your friends with us again. And it's a pleasure to have all of you here. Cheers. 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 After the traditional welcoming toast from Johnny, everybody was excited to get out, especially Scott, because he was hunting sable. Uh, it's an old sable who really heavy horns, nice and wide. He's, he's flaring up out a little bit on the back. Now we saw him better down here, so we tried to get a stalk on him, see if we can get close enough to get a shot there. One of the greatest plains animals yeah. On the continent. But you'll see if you see this bull, it's a big bull. He's big. Yeah. How, how long do you think he is? Uh, over 42. I wow. Think. To give you an idea, what's a 42 inch sable? That's like shooting a 200 inch whitetail. I mean, that's a giant, giant animal. And they're regal and black and white. And they're, they're one of the coolest uh, antelope in all of Africa. We're here, but he hasn't really figured it out yet. We're 
I try to just let him settle down here. And and uh, if he takes off, I mean, then he's just going. We're probably not. It'd be a long time till we catch up to him. But so we're just going to stay real still here and just let him kind of ease off. Maybe he'll bed down again. We're going to try to get him that he's not all wound up. Welcome back to Outdoors in the Heartland. Now in our twentieth season, brought to you by Scent Blocker, the advantage of intelligence, Tree Spider, the new world of tree stand safety. Welcome back, folks. When we last saw Scott, he was hot on the trail of a sable antelope in the Kalahari Desert of South Africa. Yeah, he saw us and he's gone. So I gotta just get on there and see if we can find him. Yeah, he's a really big bull. And uh, I just hope we get a chance to get a good shot on him. If they spot you, just, just let them slowly get used to you, and they a little bit more relaxed. Of course, those two bulls are fighting, and that was the other bull that was wise fighting the other day. I think he feels threatened by him, and he went laying down. So maybe we can sneak up on that side. The bull war after laid down? Yeah, he went better oh. down. wanting to fight bad. I've never seen anything like this. Holy cow, I never thought in my life I'd have a sable hunt like this. I knew they got aggressive, but I never saw anything like it. He got tired now, and he decided now. I'm staying here fighting. That's it. I never saw anything like that. And they can they want to fight on the leg on laying down. Laying down they feel secure of course when they all can turn around. Sometimes, uh, even Kim's but they will go and back up into a bush. Sable also, back up into a bush. I've seen it when I've, it's been wounded with rifle. Backs up into a bush and that, the, he's standing there. And if you want to try to get closer... Oh, <laughs> he's going to poke you bad. Yeah, it's going to poke you. Well, let's look at him. Wow, I can't wait. He's a big, long thing, isn't he? This is like one of the premier trophies in all of Africa. People dream about Sable. Here he is in all his magnificence right here. Well, we came here to Lynx Fontaine, which is dedicated solely to archery with uh, WJVS, Johnny Vivier and, and Philip. Boy, what a, what a wonderful trip we've had. And this is kind of a, even though we're only halfway through the trip, I feel like this is the climax of the trip for me. This is an ultimate trophy. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. And, and just the quality of this trophy and the excitement of this hunt. And we kind of did it, you know, we earned it the old fashioned way. You know, we walked and walked and walked until we finally got an opportunity. I thought we were gonna get a shot at him like eventually just standing there and letting us get close enough. I was thinking a long range shot. And you know, we talked about that. I never expected that he would just hole up there and fight us rather than running for them. We'd, we'd have that experience. Wow. What a magnificent animal. Yeah, Philip, I can't thank you enough. 
It's a pleasure. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Holy cow. Welcome back to Outdoors in the Heartland, now in our 20th season, brought to you by the Whitetail Institute of North America. Deer nutrition is all we do. All right then, now let's get back to me and Bob fishing at Ed Margimo's Lake, right here in Missouri. What you got? Man, that's good a fish as you caught, just about, except for that one. Which one are you? Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, what do what you, what you got on there now? Did Sexy you put it to the top water? Got up here out of the wind oh. a little bit. And that's oh. a better fish. I seen him flash at it once, and I didn't think he was that kind of fish. To be honest with you, just trying to come out of that deeper water on grass. I thought if he was going to get up here around this stuff, he'd just try that, you know, bright sunshine, a little ripple on the water, and a sexy dog, and just keep it walking. Don't let him get a look at it. And I seen that fish come up and was following it, but I didn't think he'd be, you know, only two and a half pounds probably, but. That's three pound fish. Good job. Well, up here, I don't know, it's one o'clock in the afternoon or something. Top water bite, that's pretty good. The sexy dog will call fish in clear water from a distance. And I like to just keep it coming, never stop. What kind of noise does it make? Like a hoot owl or a. Ooh, ooh. Nothing like that? <laughs> anyway, clear water, just keep that thing coming. They never get a good look at it. Now, Popper baits, I'm, you, I fish it slower. It's got hackles on it and the feathers pulsate in the water. This don't have that. This is a bigger bait. You just want to keep it coming. So they never get a good look at it and they finally got to make a decision. I got him. You got him? Good fish? Yeah. Woohoo! Well, get him up here. Let's take a look at him. Got about a three or four pound swirl. As soon as it hit the water, I hadn't even worked it. That fish right on the bank. Huh. Uh, yeah. Just barely, easy with him. Easy with him, he just barely hooked. Easy. Good job. There you go, man. Well, I tell you, Strike King, the, the Spitting King Popper, and the Sexy Dog, them to me are the two best topwater baits known to man at this present time. They will really catch them. And this post-spawn time right here is just perfect time to fish topwater. Right after they spawn, Perfect time, right after them females like that have recouped, they're hungry, they're still semi-shallow. And the sexy dog, that's a bait that you can fish, you know, in ultra clear lakes, you know, catch suspended fish over 100 foot of water, bring them up out of the thermal climb. That's, and it's so easy to work. I'm gonna throw this spinner bait. We got a lay down right here. That man, I have thrown that jig on there. But with that sun kind of peeping out a little bit and this wind blowing, there ought to be a big old bass right there. There's a good one right there. No, no. Damn. Felt good for a second. Holy crap. I do have a fish. I told you I was going to catch one over here. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> right up in the top of that tree branch. Now that is black. Yeah. There we go. Got one? Yep. Well, that was way out there. Yep. I found that weed edge where it comes up out of that water. Well, as I'm preparing to catch a fish, Larry goes to the front of the boat and catches a fish. Oh, you got it. Well, as you can see, what he went back to, his old favorite, this rage crawl. 
Holy smoke. That's summer crawl pattern, you know, from weather we're in Canada. And look at that nice, good, healthy, healthy, pretty fish. You want to kiss it? Hey. Hey. Yeah. You want to kiss your fish? Nah, go ahead and kiss him. I uh, don't kiss somebody else's fish. He's not big enough. There you go, buddy. Well, as again, as I'm getting prepared to catch fish, we're going to go to commercial bait. We'll be right back with more Outdoors in the Heartland right after this. This segment of Outdoors in the Heartland has been brought to you by Mossy Oak. It's not a passion, it's an obsession. Welcome back to Outdoors in the Heartland, now in our 20th season, brought to you by Ford and your quality Ford dealers. Strike King, number one in fishing lures. Triton Boats, we take America fishing. Yamaha, reliability starts here. Lowrance, we lead, we find, you win. And Gilbert's Taxidermy, the official taxidermist of Outdoors in the Heartland. There's gonna be a fish out here on this log out here, but I think Larry's trying to beat me there. He seems to be hogging the boat when he's in the front, and when I get in the front, he seems to be hogging the back of the boat. Oh, big fish. I'm tied up, but here he comes. Oh, my cow, what do you got? Oh, that ain't no big fish, is it? Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with it, is there? I'll get him out of here. Let's just take a look at him. Show him off. Yeah, there ain't nothing wrong with that one. Holy cow. Yeah, there ain't nothing wrong with this one. And he's hooked very good. Well, about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, winds let up a little bit. It's hot, humid, muggy, early May here in northeast Missouri. Look at the gold, cool colors of that. You know, fishing with sunglasses, I think, you know, so many times imperative, and I'm probably the worst to be saying that because if you look, all the wrinkles on my face, well, I'm telling you, that's what happens when you don't wear sunglasses. But fortunately, the sun's gone long enough right now, but, you know, Strike King, which is always known as a, a spinnerbait company and now a full tackle line, has also got in the sunglass business, and holy cow, the quality of their glasses, the comfort, the, the amount of styles, Pretty incredible. Um, and fishing on days like today where the sun's in and out, in and out, and you got wind blowing, your eyes getting a lot of pollen in them, and they really do help protect your eyes. And when you got fish on beds, holy cow, what a difference. The polarization in them really does enable you to see these fish when they get up shallow in bed. There he is. <laughs> Trying to get back that shallow water. Come on, That's back here. That's a <laughs> He's got me all bowed up, but he's just wanting to go the other way. <sighs> and I got... I'll get him. <sighs> Watch, he's, he's on that one side he's hooked. He's yeah. just, that's why he's got so much power. Right. There ain't nothing wrong that's with that fish, though. Good sized fish. <sighs> Yeah, there ain't nothing at all wrong with that. Mm -hmm. Sexy dog does it. <laughs> you know, I knew when Larry put this sexy dog on, it wouldn't be long. <laughs> I got one out, and I was getting ready to tie it on. I looked up and he laid it down. And he might not see the sexy dog for the rest of the day, except right. when he bends over and does his favors more. like this. Sexy dog does it. <laughs> Pretty fish. There you go, girl. There we go. Now the little male pulled right up on that point there. We just found a bed right there. I thought all the bedding was done, but you know, not all these fish spawn at one time. But he, chunky little guy. Good healthy fish. That little fat little critter. Kind of like me. Yeah. There you go, man. You know, when you get a place like this here, everything has been blowing today right into this corner. And we kind of saved the best for last, hopefully. But what happens is all the bait fish follow this plankton, algae, and the big fish, like he just caught, was two really good fish. Wow. 
they follow the bait. The other thing is, this lake has got such few amounts of cover in it. There's an isolated stick right there and caught two off of it, so. A good one. Jumper. I go back down. I'm gonna sit down on this one though. Come here, come here. Wild one. Strike King baits also come with a fish remover. It has gray hair, wears a visor. Hey, hey, hey. That's a Nordic blonde, guys. That's a good one. They all feel good. Not as big as I thought it was. What are you gonna do, buddy? You don't like all them hooks, huh? You do it. Oh, now you want to That hurts. That hurts. Uh, <sighs> Sexy dog, the three hooker. I'm a pretty fish. Three hooker. There he's got one on. Holy smokes. What do you got there? Oh, I'm down on the back again. I'm down. This is getting old. Oh. I never throw June bug, but you're almost making a believer out of me with that <laughs> lobster crawl. But again, it turned off cloudy. What do you do? You go to darker colors. That is not the biggest fish we caught today, but Larry, you know, it's actually been a pretty good day considering that the wind has blowed us all over the place. We're gonna put them back. I tell you what, my partner just made me do a lot more work than I really cared to do that insulted me and said I had gray hair when it is Nordic blonde, as yeah. you can perfectly see. So for Larry Woodward, I'm Bob Richardson. We're gonna see you somewhere next week right here outdoors in the heartland. How could you say that about my hair? <laughs> I actually put, cut a hole in the top of it where you could see it today.